Hey guys, I'm Tyler. I'd like to welcome you guys to episode one of the Ski Coup video series for the 2020-2021 season. Today's our first round and we're going to talk about some really simple stuff. Talking about some dead bugging, talking about some body position, and every week we're going to get a little more serious and a little more intense. Should be a pretty awesome winter this year. Really looking forward to learning some skills and watching you guys learn some things too. before you start skiing is you got to throw your skis on. Now a lot of you guys probably remember how to do them, but just in case you want a refresher, let's go ahead and check it out. We can pop up our binding right here. Now we're open. Get some of that snow out of there. We can do a little charging bowl to clear it from our toes and tiptoe right on in there by the bumper and clip on in. Sweet. Bindings will look kind of something like this. They've got a little clip here in the front. We can raise that up. You'll see that opened up in that notch. When we go to put our ski on, we can get, oh boy. <laughs> we can get this little metal toe piece right on into this little notch right here. So once we're open, we can blow all the snow out of there, lay our ski down, and we can run our toes back just to clear it a little bit from our boots and get right up in there on our tippy toes like we're sneaking up on our brother or sister or dog. And we can click it down like that and we are good to go ski. Another style of binding is called a turnamic binding. And these ones are a little different. Instead of opening up like alligator jaws, these are gonna turn to open. When I wanna open my binding, I can pivot it to the right or I could pivot it to the left. And now my binding's ready to go for my boot. Remember, we can put our toe in right on the bumper, come up like we're sneaking up on somebody on our tiptoes and then turn our binding to lock it. I can feel it and I can hear it quick when I'm all the way in. Even if you're a super awesome skier like my man Eric or that dude that went down there super fast, sometimes you still might wipe out. So let's practice some dead bugs so we learn how to get up safely and properly. Ah, I'm tangled. Oh no, I'm like an octopus. We can start by straightening our legs out and get detangled. We're a pretty awesome dead bug right now. We could be a dead mosquito even. And we can put our skis together and lay them on their side. And we can be a little bit of a beach model. Pretend like we're somewhere warm and tropical. And we can take our modeling hand and put it down right under our heads and use that to push our body over our skis and pop up again. <laughs> I feel like we need a blooper reel. So skiing is a really fun sport. You can go a lot of different places, see a lot of cool things, and have a great time and be healthy at the same time. There are some important things to remember though. One, you gotta always wear some good clothes. So I got some nice warm gloves, a nice big jacket, and something to keep my ears toasty. That just keeps me warm and safe. Another really important thing is to always tell a grown up when you're going out skiing, or at least someone you know real well. Just in case something happens, they know where to go look for you. Cool, so now that we've made sure we've got some nice clothing and we've checked out with an adult, we can keep rolling with the next part of the lesson. We're gonna move right into body position and that's how to have your good stance right over your skis. So sometimes these skis can be a little squirrely, so we wanna think about having a great body position while we're on there. If you guys have ever wrestled or played basketball, it's a really similar position. So we can kinda of get down, we got some nice bent knees, I'm bent a little bit at the waist, and if I wanted to, I could even go for the shot. And so we can check it out sideways too. I got some nice bent knees right in here and I'm right over my skis. I got a little bend at my waist. We we'll wanna be able to drop our knees and get some nice bend in there. I can come right over the top with all my weight, right over my feet. Cool, so especially as we're kind of cruising down this hill, it's really important that we keep nice flexible body all the way through. So as I go down the hill, instead of being a plank, I'm gonna loosen up a little bit, let my knees get some nice bend right in here, right over my feet, not too far forward and not too far back. This 
week we talked about keeping a nice athletic stance over our skis while we're going down hills. That means keeping our knees bent, our ankles bent, and having all our weight right over our feet. This is a super stable way to ski and helps keep us safe when we're cruising along. This week we want to challenge you to find a nice, easy, gentle, and small hill in your community to start working on some of your body position work thinking about those hands on your knees. And don't forget to check in with your local ski or community leader to get some awesome ski gear to check out. Be sure to take care of your equipment and make sure to give them a big thank you when you're all wrapped up for the day. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope you had a great time doing some dead bugging, a little beach modeling, and a little bit of practice standing on our skis and getting some good knee flexing. I can't wait to see you guys next time, and we'll start working on a little bit of classic and some sweet footwork.